afternoon, Facebook friends. This is Pastor Jeff Johnson from Christ Church in Norristown, Pennsylvania on this beautiful sunny day. I hope that you're doing well and you're living today with a sense of hope despite any of your present circumstances that are no doubt a challenge. Many people today almost goes without saying that many people today are feeling sad and uh, and or overwhelmed with all the problems and concerns uh, both personal and those that we're challenged to deal with as a nation. I speak with people uh, all the time who who've been holed up in their homes or apartments for a couple of months now maybe longer during this uh, virus pandemic and they haven't gone out for anything perhaps being up in years uh, children and grandchildren are providing the food and supplies and dropping them off the door and knocking on it and running it's good to have what you need but there's one thing of course that we all need and that is uh, uh, community we need uh, a sense of uh, being able to deal with our loneliness, and to overcome it, and to be with others, and to talk to people. Well, that's a challenge. Oh, it certainly is. And I'm amazed how the people that I talk to have found that strength day in and day out to keep going no matter what. Uh, I often look to Jeremiah 17 verses 7 and 8. Uh, when I'm feeling down or in need of um, a reminder that I'm not facing everything in life all by myself. I'm surrounded as you are by the presence and the power and the wisdom and the love of God. Not to mention by all the many friends out there including you. Let me read it to you. Blessed are those who trust in the Lord, whose trust is in the Lord. They shall be like a tree planted by water, sending out its roots by the stream. It shall not fear when heat comes, and its leaves shall stay green. In the year of drought, it is not anxious. It does not cease to bear fruit. So when we're in a tough spot, we don't have a perfect sense of, uh, of, of, of a vision for where we're headed next in the future. When we're sad over what's been lost and we don't know if we'll ever regain what we had. When we're faced with the huge systemic issues in our society such as racism that we may not fully understand what do we do? Where do we start? We start number one with God. Trust in God. Trust in God. Number two, pray. Pray often. And make those prayers, make listing a very important part of the prayer. Listing for what God is speaking to you in the midst of it all. Number three, Notice what God is saying to you, what God may be laying on your heart over a period of time in the experiences that you have daily. Perhaps somebody that you see and talk to may be speaking God's wisdom to you. Perhaps there's one thing that you can do right now to share God's love and find some joy. Think on that. Reflect on it and listen to God. What is one step that I can take in my overwhelming situation today? I'd like to close with a prayer. Dear God, in the tough circumstances of this day, we search for you. In the particular circumstance we're facing now, we trust you, Lord. And in the great issues of our day that seem so hard to face, we're listening for your voice and your wisdom. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, how about that? They've come to mow the lawn. 
I want to leave you with a, uh, a word that uh, tonight, Tuesday night, 7 o'clock Eastern, will be our weekly Bible study on Zoom. Tonight, uh, our leader, Mark Dooling, will be uh, starting us off in the Old Testament book of Deuteronomy. It'd be a wonderful time for you to join us for the first time. Contact me, send me a message, a personal message, and I'll let you know how to, how to get on. 7 o'clock tonight. God bless you. Have a great day, and keep looking up.